ARA2 integration between Melodyne 4 and Logic Pro 10.4.2 is finally here and it's fantastic. Now, the main idea with ARA2 integration is that it's no longer necessary to do a real time transfer of audio from Logic into Melodyne. We merely instantiate it, hit play, and it's transferred automatically. And this works on multiple tracks. Now, I'm going to start by demonstrating it on a simple lead vocal. Here it is with nothing on it. And we don't need to know which way the highway goes. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is in the first slot, just call up Melodyne ARA and then simply hit play. And we don't need to know. And it's all there right away, and we can edit as normal. I'm going to hold down the option key and just tune some of these notes. No. And we don't need to know which way the highway goes. Oh, go. And we can double click here to start playback of the entire DAW. The highway goes. Or double click in the background to start playback or local playback within Melodyne only. Which way the highway goes. Now let's call up Melodyne ARA on the harmony vocal tracks. And we've got several of them. I'm just going to close it for the moment and just copy this across. And we'll have them all transferred over automatically. So let's open up this main one, the lead vocal one. I'm going to hit play. And you can see here now that in the track list, they're all available for viewing. And this view, of course, is dependent on the track list here being visible. So now let's just cycle this second area with all the harmony vocals. We can click on these to view the contents of these tracks. And here they are, bar 55. And I can just click there to see the contents of the different tracks. And I can click the gray notes here to see the reference blobs of additional tracks. So I'm viewing additional reference blobs here that are gray and ones that we want to work on in the highlighted color. And we can view multiple clips or regions at the same time by command clicking or shift clicking for contiguous selections. Now you can see them stacked on top of each other. And we can, again, just reduce the view or add to it however we want. And there I'm seeing two different parts together. Maybe I want the reference of the lead vocal on top of it. Maybe I don't. Let's go back to viewing just one clip for a moment. And we're going to look at the options menu. And we have something here called follow clip selection in DAW. And when this is enabled like it is now, we can simply click here and the display will update the selection in the track list within Melodyne based on the track that we click on within Logic. Now we've got two modes that we can work in here, track mode and clip mode. And so far we've been in track mode and that's enabled from this first button here. And the second button is clip mode. And you'll see it's grayed out now. And that's because nothing is selected in the additional clips. So for example, let's say I'm gonna click here. Let me turn off cycle. So these are both selected. We have two different regions here on this track and we can see them both. Now let me zoom a little bit here so we can see both. and I can go into clip mode where I can view only one of them, but it's grayed out now because Melodyne doesn't know which of these two clips I want to see. So I need to first select one or more of the blobs, and now this will be active, and I can go into this clip mode where I see only the contents of this clip, but I can see before and after it in the timeline. And the advantage of this in clip mode is that we have part of this note that falls outside of the region border. We have it displayed here, whereas when we're in track mode, we see Everything simply clipped right at the region borders as they are in the DAW. So two different ways of working. And I can, let's say, click a note here. And then when I go into clip mode or clip view, I'll see the notes over here. And again, this one extends a little bit beyond the border. Now, you'll notice that when we're in clip mode like we are now, and I like to think of it as region mode since region and clip are synonymous, although Melodon uses the term clip when Logic uses the term region. But when we're in clip mode, the track list remains in view over here, but the edit and reference buttons are grayed out. And if we're already in clip mode like this, we want to change clips. We need to switch back to track mode first in Logic and then select a node in another clip and then switch to clip mode and it'll update. 
Now, the third button here is note assignment mode for when we need to make adjustments to the detection. And when we're in clip mode, we can enter it directly simply by clicking that icon. And we can see, we can see the outlines of the detected notes. We can update it if we need to. But when we're in track mode, we need to first make sure that Melody knows which clip we want to go in to go into note assignment mode. And then this will be available and we can go and see right now, it's going to this phrase over here where we see the outline notes. And I can, for example, replace this by double clicking on it, although that's probably incorrect. So let's put it back there. But the idea being that we can enter note assignment mode directly from clip mode, but in track mode, we need to make sure via our selections or editing that Melodyne knows which clip we want to go into. So just to review some of the playback functions, when we play back from the DAW, we're going to hear everything. We're all about the journey. When we play back from in here by double clicking in the background, we'll hear local playback only. Uh... And when we double click at the top of the ruler, we'll hear everything combined. All about the journey. Based on how we have this set in terms of hearing the reference tracks and the tracks that were blending and the DAW tracks all together so we can adjust the balance there. In the next video, we'll look at some more logic-specific integration.